At the end of 2023, KLM made a decision that shocked many in the aviation industry. The Dutch airline announced that it would phase out its Boeing 737 fleet and replace it with Airbus A321 NEO aircraft, although they used to want to fill all their fleet with Boeing aircraft. What happened? Why KLM choose the A321 NEO to replace the Boeing 737? In conclusion, how special Airbus A321 NEO is, let's explore in today's episode. To know the reason why, let's first learn a bit about the problem of Boeing aircraft. KLM, the Dutch national airline, has long used Boeing 737 for short and medium haul operations. The airline currently operates a fleet of 52 Boeing 737, including variants such as the 700, 800, and 900. These planes have served KLM well, connecting cities across Europe and beyond. However, many of KLM's Boeing aircraft are now between 10 and 20 years old. While still can operate, these aircraft are less fuel efficient compared to newer models. This inefficiency leads to higher operating costs and increased environmental impact. These are significant concerns in today's competitive and environmentally conscious aviation industry. Additionally, the reduced fuel efficiency and increasing operating costs of older aircraft are becoming more pronounced. The instability around the Boeing 737 MAX is another factor. MAX's suspension and flying that lasts interrupted this airline's renewed fleet plan and pushed them to look for another fleet to replace it. While Boeing has to take their time to solve MAX's problem, they create a chance for A321, NEO, and Airbus. Additionally, KLM also considered fleet flexibility. The capability and range of this Airbus aircraft make it suitable for various European routes allowing this airline to optimize its operations. Furthermore, this decision is part of the broader strategy of the Air France KLM group to standardize its fleet across different airlines. This commonality can lead to operational efficiencies and cost savings in fields such as maintenance and crew training. So, was the Dutch National Airlines' initial plan to completely replace Boeing's old 7-37 with the A321neo? Of course not. KLM has been a loyal customer of Boeing. Initially, they planned to replace its old Boeing aircraft with the new MAX. This seemed logical as it would minimize crew training costs and maintain fleet commonality. However, the global grounding of the 737 MAX in 2019 after two tragic accidents disrupted this plan. This situation made them explore alternatives beyond Boeing. For the first time in many years, the airline began to seriously consider other aircraft types that could potentially offer better efficiency and performance. But what could be compelling enough to make this airline break its long-standing relationship with Boeing? Speaking about this transition, KLM CEO Peter Elbers said, This order for fleet renewal is an important new step for this airline in achieving our objectives in terms of sustainability, customer experience, comfort, and efficiency. These new aircraft will allow us to substantially reduce carbon dioxide emissions and noise levels. I'm glad that by continually investing in our product, we can improve our efficiency and customer experience. The coronavirus pandemic has forced us to focus on survival for the past 18 months. Now that we are on the road to recovery, we can look to the future once more. With this order, which is an important component of our restructuring plan, we will further prepare our company as well as our customer experience for the future. This CEO said the following, we have faith in the return of the MAX, but at the same time also look at Airbus A321 given the uncertainty surrounding the MAX. This doubt signals a change in the thinking of CEO Peter Elbers. The airline will no longer support the all Boeing fleet that he once pursued. Although the airline's preference for Airbus has not been as strong as its love for Boeing, it currently still operates aircraft from this manufacturer. Peter Elbers previously stated that the airline would soon transition to an all Boeing fleet. However, now that may no longer be true. So why is the airline considering the A321 instead of the MAX? To answer this question, let's see. A321 NEO's fuel efficiency and performance. One of the key selling points of the NEO aircraft is its impressive fuel efficiency. It reduces fuel consumption by 15% compared to its predecessor, which leads to lower operating costs for airlines and reduced environmental impact. In addition, the industry-leading quality and efficiency of Airbus's A320 family has been further enhanced with its NEO versions. NEO provides minimum change with maximum benefit through the availability of two advanced engine choices. 
CFM International's Leap 1A, and Pratt and Whitney's Pure Power PW 1100. GJM geared turbofan, along with Airbus's fuel-saving Sharklet wingtip devices. Together, they bring per seat fuel improvements of 20%, along with an additional range of up to 500 nautical miles, or two tons of extra payload. This improvement in sustainability, combined with the use of sustainable aviation fuel and improving operational innovation and efficiency, will contribute significantly to achieving the climate objectives laid down in the Paris Agreement. Lower fuel consumption will reduce costs, creating more room for investment in operations for a stronger future. In addition to initiatives such as Fly Responsibly, KLM recently aligned its objectives for reducing carbon dioxide emissions with the UN Climate Agreement signed in Paris. Additionally, the A321neo, its capacity is significantly improved compared to Boeing's MAX aircraft. Airbus expanded this aircraft's seating capacity with the optimized use of cabin space, increased exit limits, and a new cabin door configuration. Called the Cabin Flex, it increases the jetliner's maximum certified capacity to 244 seats, while still accommodating Airbus's modern comfort standard of seats that are at least 18 inches wide. Another advantage of the NEO aircraft is its reduced noise. The aircraft produces 50% less noise than previous generation planes, a factor that is becoming increasingly important as airports face stricter noise regulations. The A320neo's long-range variant, the A321LR, provides extended range, capable of flying routes of up to 4,000 nautical miles with 206 passengers by utilizing extra fuel in three additional center tanks. Ideally suited to transatlantic routes, this aircraft allows airlines to tap into new long-haul markets not previously accessible with current single-aisle aircraft. Operators can outfit its cabin with configurations ranging from a single-class layout to a multi-class arrangement featuring full, flat, premium seats for true long-haul comfort. Passengers benefit from this aircraft's low interior noise and latest in-flight entertainment. With this feature, KLM can exploit new routes and flexibly manage their flights without obstacles. The attraction of the A321neo is not only in the performance metrics, the aircraft from Airbus will be the most popular aircraft in the hometown because the company was registered in Dutch and there are some actions in this country. Furthermore, transforming Airbus aircraft for this airline's narrow body aircraft increases passengers' trust because Max has a controversial reputation. In summary, this aircraft stands out with its new, more efficient engines that power the plane. These engines, combined with aerodynamic improvements and the use of lighter materials, provide significant performance gains over previous generations of narrow-body aircraft. In the last year of 2023, these new A320neo and A321neo started to replace KLM and Transavia's recent 737 nanograms on Europe's flights. The Dutch national airline has announced Copenhagen, Berlin, and Stockholm as the first cities to see the new arrival. In August, they will start flying this Airbus aircraft, the first of an impressive 30 aircraft fleet. In addition, KLM plans to debut its A321-200neo operations in late August 2024, deploying its first aircraft of the type out of Amsterdam Schiphol to Stockholm Arlanda, Berlin Brandenburg International, and Copenhagen Kustrup. The airline's second A321neo will begin operations on October 7, 2024, and will be used on routes to London Heathrow, Edinburgh, and Paris CDG. The Dutch flag carrier will configure its aircraft of the type for up to 227 passengers. This airline will be the third and, for now, final airline from the Air France KLM group to add the A320neo family aircraft. The holding's two low-cost carriers, Transavia Airlines and Transavia France took delivery of their first A321neo and A32200neo in late December 20th, 23 and early January 20th, 24. The deliveries are delayed by as much as six months compared to the original plan. In summary, the A321neo is the longest fuselage member of Airbus's best-selling family, capable of fully meeting the airline's requirements and more. However, KLM's priority to replace the 737 with the Airbus aircraft may impact its future collaboration with the world's leading aircraft manufacturer. What do you think? Is the A321neo the right choice for KLM? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you, and see you again soon.